Okay, in the previous lesson I showed you a basic camera setup and I had it, the camera parented or tracking this empty, not parented. Sometimes I say parented, but I actually mean tracking because I use control T, not control P. And so I'm tracking this and I have these uh, keyframes set up. So when I run the animation, you can see it's moving along like that on the keyframes. So we're going to just kind of scale this up a little bit, give you a little more capability. And so I'm going to first of all get rid of these keyframes. I'm going to go press T and then I'm going to, with the up and down arrow key, you can move between keyframes. All right, so go to the one keyframe and I'll just come up here and remove it. And then I'll press the up arrow key and then I'll remove that as well. So now the keyframes are gone out of here. And we'll just leave that for a second. All right, so now let's go look at the scene from above just for a second. And here's where my cursor's position. I'm just going to add something else to the scene now. I'm going to add Shift A. I'm going to add a curve path to the scene. And let me see. Let's go look at it over here. Right. So there it is right there. And so what I want to do, I want to use the curve path instead of keyframes. And I'm going to end up using the empty and I'm going to attach it to the path somehow so it tracks along there. So maybe I'm going to make, you know, the beginning of a helix, say. So I'm going to go into edit mode and I'll zoom in and there are the control points of the path. If I right click on that control point and I move it over here in Y, you can see here is the path itself like this. And if I come up here to this button that looks like a curve now and I click that, notice it's set to 3D. And when it's set to 3D, that means when I'm moving that, I could actually be moving it in up and down in three dimensions. So just for the moment, I'm going to turn it to 2D, just because. And that way it doesn't accidentally go above or below the plane when I'm adding a few points. So I'm just going to add a few points here. I'm going to press E and just move that over here. And then I'm going to press E again. So I'm just adding a few control points in E like this. And then if you notice over in the camera view like this, you see it's staying level on the plane. All right, now from this point, maybe I'll move it here. If I try to move this up, see it won't move upward like that. But now if I press 3D, I'll take this one point and I'll move it upward like this. And maybe the other control point that's near it, I'll move it up a little bit like that. And maybe even this one, I'll move up just a little bit. All right, so now it's rising up here in the in the scene. All right, so now my camera view, my camera's going to change. If I go over my camera view here in a minute. So what I want to do is now I'm going to take this thing. Let me just adjust this curve a little bit. Maybe make it a little smoother. All right, so there's my basic curve that I have in the scene. So I'm going to uh, leave edit mode. All right, like this. Now what I want to do, whereas in this case the camera is tracking the empty. Now I'm going to take the empty and I'm going to parent it to the curve. So I'm going to sh click the empty first and I'm going to right hold down the shift key and right click on the path and then I'm going to press control P. And when I do I have this options coming up. If you don't have this many options in, when you press control P you might check your version because I'm using version 2.65a right here. All right. So if there's the version change things change. So control P and I'm going to use this option right down here, follow the path. All right. So by doing that, then I'm essentially you notice here there's a new little line that comes from he, the empty down to this first point of the or down to this point of the curve like this. All right. So this must have been the first point of the curve. I probably should have th made the curve the other direction, but it doesn't matter. So what I'll do is I'm just going to take this empty and I'm going to kind of move it over here like this. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to basically try to align it. I'm going to look at it from above in ortho mode. And I'm going to press G shift Z for the moment. And you see where it is? I'm going to try and position it right there at that starting point of the curve. So it's there. So because when it, if I if I don't have it set at that location, then it won't follow the path exactly. So I want to get it as close to that location as possible. I'll look at it in, in here in one. Where's my curve? I'm I'm pretty close. There it is there. And then I'll press three. I'm still in ortho mode. 
and let me see where it is. No, it's pretty close. Oh, it's pretty close, good enough out of ortho mode. So there it is sitting at the top of the path like this. All right, so there it is looking there, and now my camera view, notice, is looking way up there in the scene. All right, so now but just by virtue of doing that, I don't have to create any keyframe animations. I'm basically using the curve, and if I press Alt-A, you're going to see this track here, and you're going to see a change in here. So Alt-A, and you can see it moves it down and around, and then my camera can follow along like that. So but then when it gets past 100 frames it stops and the reason for that is we'll have to go right click the curve and when you come back in here to this path object data you come down here at the bottom notice here under path animation it has been preset for you and it shows it evaluates it over 100 frames so maybe I want to slow it down and evaluate it over 250 frames like this so now it's just going to take longer to run the whole 250 frames to follow the whole path all right, I'll run Alt-A. And there you see. So that kind of gives you some pretty good control over the way you, where you're pointing your camera. And that could, you could attach these to whatever. So, and that'll help you get, that should help get you started. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.